So today we've been talking about wire, and we are going to learn how to make our own wire end caps. I'm here with Mark Nelson. Hi, Mark. Hey, Katie. And show us how we do this. This is a really great way to create your own clasp. Yeah, you can start with the end cap. It's going to finish off a cord or a, a, a leather necklace, mm -hmm. and uh, make, home make it yourself. Okay. I'm going to use a wire. It's a special wire. It's uh, argentium wire. Mm -hmm. And argentium is a, uh, a kind of an alloy. It's like a sterling silver, mm -hmm. uh, but it has a little more silver in it and um, has a, an element called germanium in it. Okay. What I'm doing here is I got a three, min three millimeter mandrel mm -hmm. because my core is three millimeters. Okay, so you'll match your mandrel to the diameter of the cord that you're using. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you can make them pretty small. You can do like one millimeter, two mm -hmm. millimeter, even larger. Mm -hmm. um, That's great because a lot of times you might have a thickness that requires a custom piece. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find. Mm -hmm. I've cut a slot in my mandrel so that I can just fit that wire right in there. Mm -hmm. And it uh, makes it a lot easier to, to start wrapping. I had it started and then it popped out. It's okay. There we go. And then as you're doing it, you're just going to kind of pull on the wire mm -hmm. and just make a coil. So you're putting a little bit of tension on it? Exactly. I'm pinching it between my fingers and kind of pulling on it. It's going to make it nice and tight. Mm -hmm. I found that about four to six inches will give a nice length for an end cap. Oh, okay. But you can totally customize it to what mm -hmm. you to what you like. Mm -hmm. You mean four to six? You mean four to six inches before it's coiled, right? Right. Exactly. So yeah. once it's coiled, it's only it looks like about half an inch. Is that right? In height, yeah. Okay. And I'll just cut that end off right and there. Does it matter what diameter wire you use? I like to use 22 or 20 gauge, mm -hmm. um, but really you can use anything you like. Okay. Uh, okay. Once you get up to 18 gauge, a mm -hmm. little thicker, mm -hmm. uh, it can get difficult to. Um, to actually coil a wire. Okay. okay. So what are you doing there? Right now, I see a little thing that was stuck in my slot. Mm -hmm. I got to cut that off. Okay. So I'm going to come in here. Mm -hmm. And I'm wearing my safety glasses. You are. <laughs> it's a good thing you will, because I'll shoot this at you, for sure. You know how you always nail nail your buddy with the. Get your neighbor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once we have this on mm -hmm. here, I'm going to take my bench knife or uh, something I can slip in here, mm -hmm. and just kind of peel that up just a little bit like that. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it. Now this is the part that I'm actually going to attach a, um, a jump ring to. Right. So you, this will be the loop that's sticking up at the end of the coil, right? Right. Okay. Actually, mess this up. Looks like you have two there. Actually, can you put two. the other one back, or will you have to start over? No. What I can do is actually just trim it. Oh right. That's easy. Now remember, this um, is argentium, so we can save everything we use, and um, use it for a different project. How will you save it? What we'll do is we'll just keep all the little clippings mm -hmm. and maybe um, ball them up into mm -hmm. little balls and, mm -hmm. and end up fusing those onto another project. Oh, okay. So. It's, you can be green right there in your studio. Yeah, that's the neat thing about this material. Um, there's, you're not using solder. Mm -hmm. We're going to fuse these. And because we're not using solder, it's clean material. So you could, even after it's finished, you could use it for, melt it down and use it for something else? Right. Oh, okay. It's all just a solid piece. So mm -hmm. I have my end cap ready mm -hmm. to go. Now I'm going to just pull it over here, and I need to put some flux on there. Okay. And what's the flux for? Flux is, a, um, is there to allow it to uh, fuse together, mm -hmm. and it keeps the oxygen away from the metal. Because if it were getting oxidized, then it wouldn't be able to fuse? Right. I'm just going to make that okay. little adjustment there, mm -hmm. and then we'll go ahead and... Dip that guy. Dip it. Now we have to do this on a charcoal block. Okay. Uh, the fusing and that's the black piece on top there. Right. Uh, the fusing process won't take place if I were to use, say, um, this white block over here. And why is that? Uh, because the uh, charcoal will use up the oxygen mm -hmm. around the piece mm -hmm. and allow the metal to fuse to itself. Okay. So. So now you're going to bring in your torch, and it looks like you're using a different torch. We've seen you use a big one. This is a little guy. It's a little guy. It's a little pro... Um, butane? Butane. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really easy to use. You're just going to turn it on mm -hmm. and get it going. Okay. Okay. And would you use a smaller torch for this because it doesn't get quite so hot? Or what's your... I would use any kind choose? of torch. Oh, any kind can work. Okay. Yeah. This one happens to be a, a, a really nice torch because it won't get too hot, mm -hmm. uh, but hot enough. And once it's shiny, it's actually starting to fuse. And what's the advantage of having the links fused together like that? Well, the advantage is, it's like you said earlier, it's all one metal. Mm -hmm. There is no solder. Mm -hmm. So if we didn't like this mm -hmm. or we had to reuse it, we can melt it down. Mm -hmm. um, another thing is that it's going to... More durable? It's very durable, yes. It's mm -hmm. all one piece of metal. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're done. It's that easy. All right. 
And uh, what you're going to do is go over here and just go ahead and dunk it in mm -hmm. water. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to pickle it. Okay. The uh, reason why we're pickling is to get that flux off, and that's the only reason why. Okay. The Argentium will not get uh, fire scale. Mm -hmm. So when you take it out, it's nice and shiny? Exactly. All right. Uh, you may have to tumble it, though. It depends on how you want your finish. You can mm -hmm. oxidize it, mm -hmm. um, tumble it, mm -hmm. polish it however you want to treat it. Mm -hmm. So it looks like you're ready to fuse another one there. Yeah, you want to see it again? Well, yeah, oh. let's, let's do the other one because then we'll have two. We, can, uh, oh, yeah, we have two ends we of the cord. One for each side of our cord. All right. But you can see it's very fast. It's very simple to do. Mm -hmm. The neat thing about fusing is that there's no, you don't have to try and put solder on here, mm -hmm. okay? So anybody could try this? Really, if, you, if you're not used to soldering, mm -hmm. give this a try. It's a lot easier to do. Mm -hmm. Because you only got one temperature. You can see how it almost melts here. And, and we're done. You were saying too about the Argentium. It's really unique in that the, it's the only type of material that will fuse to itself in this way. You couldn't do the same process using sterling unless you use solder. Is that correct? Right. Now you could do it with fine silver. Oh, okay. Yeah, fine you silver will fuse. You could also fuse it. Well, let's take a look at the finished one over here, and it looks like you're also using an argentium clasp. Yes, uh -huh. right? it's a magnetic clasp. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you so much, Mark. This was really interesting. Oh, you're welcome. Thank okay, you. Okay, we'll be right back.